Hello YouTube, this is West from West Gaming, and today we are in Star Citizen, and uh, I thought we could go and explore Arc Corp, and uh, just check out the first city that that we have access to that we can kind of run around and explore, and uh, there, there's a decent chunk that we can go check out. So here it is, um, this is kind of the first spot you get to, uh, you load in at the elevator over there and this is a, a customs area uh, so your your ship kinda lands over here go through customs and uh, you go through this door talk to this guy you know they turn off all your weapons all that kinda good stuff and then you come out here Ooh. Uh, pretty cool I I love all the uh, just the subtle detail um, just in everything it's pretty neat the only thing that does bug me is this center sphere and all it is is the way the gears rotate do you see that that section right there they're rotating against each other it just bugs me to no end I mean it, it's it's a cool prop it'd be even cooler if they all rotated in the same you know they all interlock and did it right but anyways so instead of complaining <laughs> let's look around uh, so over here we've got Cubby Blast and it is the gun store so let me jump in here we've got guns and uh, you can uh, you can use some of these like this one you can use in the uh, the persistent universe right now and the pistol the rest of these are not available yet uh, but it, I mean it looks like the models are there they're just not functioning probably yet so yeah but I mean it's pretty cool I, yeah I mean look at all the detail they spent on the ceiling I mean it that's pretty cool the van duel head they got like knives and stuff down here uh, that'd be cool you know it'd be really cool I wonder if you can have a sword I mean you know not not necessarily like full-on Jedi status uh, but you know they have knives why not a sword you can be the crazy dude in space with a sword oh yeah could be fun I don't know if it's gonna happen but you know it's a possibility maybe I'll submit it as a suggestion but yeah you know so there's uh, some guns pretty cool so let's go out this way um, now Across the way here, got a couple of different places. Um, this is the uh, the hospital. So if if you die on this map, you will actually respawn over here, and and that's just um, for this kind of beta gameplay. Uh, eventually, they they will have it where. You only really have one life, and uh, so you better make it count. But you got cool little medical devices for sale. Some tanks with stuff in it. But yeah, you know it's it's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing too is all of the people here look exactly the same and 
if you can tell. Is this guy? Some of them don't have eyes, which is super creepy. But uh, they're working on it. <laughs> so. But then next we'll go over here. And this is the job well. And what this is for is uh, when you go on a mission um, or uh, you find something or you, or you want to send somebody on a mission or you want to get a mission uh, or a job or anything like that, you can uh, put it up kind of like a, an auction house type of setup for tasks. And uh, yeah, which is pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't do anything yet. The idea is cool. We'll just have to wait and see what that looks like. But pretty cool building. I like the view out the window here. You get to see more of the city and the constellation. But it looks like there's dudes working on it. <laughs> I I like how there's there's people on the roof of it doing stuff. You know, there's like a guy over there on the bottom hauling a crate and a guy back there working on the engines. Somebody working on a little buggy over there. Which is super cool, but then you have like those guys just sitting there. And for uh, those of you who don't know, when you uh, when you make a, a character model, you usually do it in a T shape, so it's it's a little easier to uh, to construct the uh, the character. So those are just the base shapes over there, standing there, doing nothing. So yeah, but anyways. The view's cool. Ships flying around. Pretty freaking sweet. I don't know what that noise is, though. Kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, that's new. The audio. Test. <laughs> if I can talk. <laughs> Test subject. Alright. And then over here, you have the bar. Um, this. Uh, hey, hey, come on. As you can tell, very lively place. Yeah, the lazy guy in the back. Come on, serve me a drink. You gonna do anything? No, I'm just gonna sit there? Fine, let's see how it is. Um, so the other thing is the, uh, I believe this elevator right here goes to the, um, the high-end club that is only available to uh, certain well, the, the early backers of the game, which is pretty cool. Well, cool for them, not so cool for, for me, but you know, it's cool to think about. One day, I might be able to go through those doors. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Uh, you've got the shady back alleyway over here graffiti and so you know if you ever need to do some crazy deal that you need the right setting for here you go I mean what's better than doing some sort of drug deal for some apocalyptic serum of some type and do the deal right in front 
of this furnace. Pretty cool. You know, or, you know, just, you just chuck some dead bodies in there. That works too. You know, whatever you need it for, it's there. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. There's a straight up line. Anyways. Oh, it disappeared. Uh, another thing that I thought was really cool was actually the trash. Now, what I thought was cool about it is that uh, they actually took the time to make actual content and then destroy it and use it as a texture which is just crazy I mean so like you know if you look at the beer right that's actually an in-game company that you can get alcohol from and like all the magazines they actually have content on them which is just freaking awesome And every single corner has some sort of crazy amount of detail. I mean, you can just, like, look into every single corner. I mean, look, there's a button panel and conduits and... I mean, there's even stuff back in there. Yeah, that's just cool. Okay. So, the last place I was going to show you guys is across the bridge here. I'm trying to run. I don't know if you guys noticed that just a second ago, but that ship that flew by had no texture on it. Just kind of funny. Um. The Cassava Outlet is a clothing store, which is not opening. Um, it will be open here soon, but I'm not sure when, so we'll just have to wait. But this is pretty cool, just kind of running across here, seeing the ships fly overhead. Pretty cool. I mean, just, um, yeah, look at the textures on the floor and whatnot. It's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, now, if you guys are kind of wondering, like, you know, why is this guy looking at the floors and the textures and cracking out about that? Well, the reason is um, I'm a, a CG artist, and I've, I've done a lot of... Um, graphics for all kinds of different companies and uh, I've, I've built a couple of games and uh, I've uh, I've messed around with creating some of these kinds of things and uh, holy crap does it take a lot of time and effort to make textures like this I mean they did a really good job and I'm just absolutely impressed So, bravo. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking around staring at the floor, <laughs> mesmerized by the textures. But I'm assuming you guys want to see the rest of this. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, well, it doesn't have any engines. That's interesting. But it's still cool, you know, it spins around. Well, guys, um, I think we will call it there. And uh, this was just kind of to explore um, the Area 18. 
and uh, yeah, just check it out and see what's here. Um, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. This is Wes from West Gaming. Thank you very much.